and welcome to the first of our water quality tests. As I indicated in the previous video, we're going to be doing the phosphate test and the nitrate test first. Let me just read you what it says in our information. Phosphates are widely introduced into the environment from such sources as agricultural fertilizers, cleaning and laundering products, boiler water conditioners, and drinking water treatment aids. Those of you that have water softeners at your house. At high levels, phosphates stimulate the growth of photosynthetic organisms, so algae and fungi and other bacteria and organisms that grow on sunlight and heat, which may contribute to uh, the contamination of lakes, rivers, and ponds. This makes it important to monitor and control phosphate discharges into the environments. Phosphates can be classified as ortho, condensed, and organically bound. As with existing test kits on the market, this phosphate test kit will only determine orthophosphate levels. Now it's very important in here that a milligram per liter is the equivalent to parts per million. So milligrams per liter is the same thing as parts per million. We will be figuring in both of these. So here is what we've done. This is a very simple test to do. We've taken 10 milliliters of water, we have what is called a comparator. As you can see here, on one side it's colored and on the other side it's clear. This is where we're going to pour the water in. So, what we do is we take one of our phosphate reagent pillows here, and again, it's phosphate reagent. Reagent means it reacts with the phosphates in the water or with whatever it is that we're trying to do. We're going to tear gently the phosphate pillow open and this was one of our issues we had in the lab and and just to say that teachers if you're watching this and you want to try this please make sure that you have determined if your students can read and follow instructions okay our instructions say that we're going to add the phosphate pillow to the water until the solids dissolve and what we're going to do is we're going to swirl just like this because we don't have a cap yes I spilled a little out but we're going to swirl this around until most of the solid parts of this dissolve then it says we need to wait for one minute so I'm going to leave this in there actually let me try something here I'm going to stick my hand over that shake that really good get those solid particles dissolved as much as possible we're gonna wipe that clean and now we're gonna go away and we're gonna leave this we will come back to it in just a moment nitrates nitrate ions are present in trace amounts in surface water and on higher levels in some groundwater Nitrate is found only in small qualities, quantities in domestic wastewater, but can reach higher concentrations, up to 30 milligrams per liter, as nitrogen in the outflow of nitrifying biological treatment plants. What that means is sewage treatment plants that use organic means to decompose waste materials, human waste. The outflow from those plants, such as what comes out of our local Roswell, New Mexico wastewater treatment plant, uh, the outflow comes back into what is uh, diverted into an irrigation ditch. And so nitrates can be concentrated from organic beings. And there's, it's kind of hard to get rid of the nitrates out of there. Anyway, excessive amounts can contribute to infant death and adult illness. In order to prevent this, a 10 milligram per liter limit of nitrogen has been imposed on drinking water. And again, a milligram per liter is the same as parts per million. So we're going to get this one set up because this one requires four minutes. As we see here, we are getting a color change in this one. So we will come back to that in just a moment. Right now I'm going to open up the pillow. Now this one, a little bit trickier. This one has a little vial for us. And the thing the kids had the biggest problem with in the lab yesterday was trying to get the powder into this teeny tiny little vial. So we take our pillow 
and we're going to get that down really, really small, and we are going to pour that powder right in. Got most of it in there. We're going to cap it just like that, and then we're going to shake it up and down. And now we're going to unstopper it, set it aside, and we're going to let it set for about the three or four minutes it's going to take us to talk about this experiment that we're doing on the phosphate. So we'll set that one aside. That's why we picked these two to do together. Okay, let me set this box up here so we have some kind of a background to compare it with. We're going to fill this side with our water that has reacted with the phosphates. Going to fill it up even. And yeah, we'll fill it all the way. There we go. Okay. So now, all right, let's see what we got here. Let me go ahead and we're going to zoom this in a little bit so you can see it a little better. There we go. All right. Very good. Wow. You can see that pretty good. All right. Here's the thing. What we are trying to do, there are numbers. This one gives us the milligrams per liter. One, two, three, four, and five. What we have to do is we have to compare this color here with the color that's over here. So let me bring this up. There we go. That's a little close. But what I'm seeing is that this color is approximately right in here at a 1 or a 2. Now, I can't see it being down here at the bottom. This is very dark. 3 is still a little darker. But I'm thinking that these two colors match up right in this neighborhood right here or even with a number 1 up here. I'll let you decide. I'm going to call it a number 2. Actually, let me back that out a little bit. I'm going to call it a number one because I believe that this is approximately the color of this number one. So for our first test here on the nitrates, our, our, sorry, the phosphates, let me get my sheet here where I can keep track of all of this. The phosphates, it says, did the sample turn color? Yes, it did. When, uh, what did you get when you placed it in the comparator? I'm going to call it a 1. And then if 0 is low and 4 to 5 is high, where did our sample fall? It was 1, which equals a low reading. Low, ladies and gentlemen, is very good. We like low numbers when it comes to phosphates and nitrates. So we're going to call that a low rating. So we're going to set that aside now that we're done with that. And we've been talking for about four or five minutes. Here's our comparator, excuse me, for the nitrates. I'm going to show you the bottle right here. I see very little color change in this water sample. If our water is clear, that's a slightly blue tinged plastic. I don't see hardly any, but let's pour it into our comparator. Pour it in our comparator and look. And I don't see it being anything. Now on the nitrates, the milligrams per liter is here at the top. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Again, nitrates nitrogen in the water. This is usually some kind of human or animal contamination. This is coming from an irrigation well that's probably 150 to 200 feet deep. And if it's changed color, it has just barely changed color from the naturally occurring nitrates in the soil. I am going to call this a zero because I'm just not seeing any change whatsoever. So let's go back to our laboratory form. Yeah, I, st I just don't see it. Do you see it? I don't see it. So hopefully you'll agree with me on that one. So let's go back to the nitrates on this one. Fill this out as we go. Did this? What color did it turn? It stayed clear. 
When you put it in the comparator, what do we get? We got zero. Now, for this one, <coughs> it says take this number and multiply it by 4.43, or we can just read it off the comparator. We had zero milligrams per liter of nitrates. It says if the water is one milligram or above, and it's unhealthy for infants to drink, it's over 10 milligrams per liter, it's unhealthy for you to drink. How did our sample do? It is healthy. And that concludes the first two experiments in our water quality. The phosphates, which we gave it at about a 1, and our nitrates, which it's just starting to turn colors. Let me lay that up there. I'm still going to call that less than a 10, 10 perhaps, maybe at the most, but it's still not unhealthy for people to drink. But And it's also after the four minutes that you're supposed to take it. So probably as it sets here, the longer it sets, the more it's going to turn color. We've taken it at the right time. We got a reading of zero nitrates in the water. Therefore, that water is healthy to drink. It's very low in phosphates very low in nitrates. When we come back, we're going to do the hardness test.